Hey, I'm Evan, head of engineering for RM Stator. Today we're gonna to talk about the Kawasaki KLR650. So these are awesome adventure bikes and dual sport bikes, really popular. Um, one of the most popular upgrades for these things is a high output charging system. So guys are often adding heated grips and extra lights and a power outlet for their phone or GPS. So having a high output charging system to handle that is a great idea. Today we're gonna to show you how to install that. Uh, we're gonna show you how to install our high output stator and new voltage regulator to go along with it. We do have stator cover gasket that's part of the set. I'm gonna install a new ignition coil and one of our high performance CDI boxes. So we're gonna go through all the steps here and show you how to do it. To get started, you do need to remove the side cover which is on the left side of the motor. If you have crash bars, make sure and remove them and get them out of the way. So I'm gonna get that done and get the side cover off which is eight millimeter bolts all the way around. Make sure you drain your oil first and disconnect the battery negative cable to be safe. And once we get that done, we can start changing the stator. Okay, so we have the side case and the stator on the workbench here. I'm gonna show you how to swap the stator. Um, you have three five millimeter Allen head bolts that hold the stator in place. So I've already loosened those, I'm gonna remove them. And then you have a single Phillips head uh, here that holds the wire clamp in place. So I'm gonna remove that as well, pull the wire clamp out. Now there's no need to remove the pulser coil or the bracket uh, for the pulser coil, coil wires. Uh, it's a totally separate harness than the stator, so no need to remove that. And those wires, uh, grommets are on top, so I'm gonna pull that out, set it out of the way. And then I can remove the stator grommets and lift the stator up and out. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to take the new stator, lay it in place. And make sure you uh, orient it so the wires are exiting in the same location. And I'm gonna go ahead and slide the grommet back in place in the case. And then make sure you use red Loctite on all the stator mounting bolts so they don't come loose. I'm just gonna slide them in place for now. And then put your pulser coil grommet back in place. And then you can reinstall your wire clamp right there. Make sure you use some Loctite on this as well. And then tighten all those up and make sure your uh, gasket surface is clean. Make sure you scrape it if there's any left from the old gasket. And that's about it for the stator. Uh, then we can go ahead and get the side case back on the motor and get it tightened up. So we'll show you that next. Okay, so we're gonna go put the side case back on. You can see that uh, we have a new gasket installed with some black RTV um, on the inside of the case and also on the side cover. Now, there's not uh, much of a trick to this. You just need to line up um, the side case with the mounting bolts. Um, there's a couple dowel pins that may be in the uh, motor or they may be in the side case. Uh, you just gotta line those guys up. The flywheel will kind of pull the stator into place. So. You really just gotta kinda get it centered and wiggle it around a little bit till you get everything to line up like that. And then take all your bolts, they're all eight millimeters um, that you removed earlier, put them all in, tighten them up, and that's about it for your stator swap, other than, of course, running your wires again and plugging them in. Um, make sure you refill your motor with oil and uh, connect your battery again. Or you can wait to do that, I suppose, after we swap the regulator and all. Um, but that's about it for your stator swap, pretty simple. Now we're gonna show you how to change the regulator. Uh, you do need to have the seat removed like we talked about earlier. So you can clearly see it mounted here on the rear fender uh, underneath where the seat goes. Um, it's held in place by two 10 millimeter nuts and bolts. Um, the nuts are underneath uh, the fender, so you do need to get under there with a wrench. And then you can access the tops of them here. Um, the plug is right here, just as simple as pressing down on the tab and pulling it out. And then I've already removed the nuts so I can just pull this out. So there's our old regulator out. And here's our new regulator. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. And line it up. 
and then reattach the nuts underneath and tighten it and that's it for swapping the regulator. So the other pieces we have to talk about are the ignition coil and the CDI box and we'll show you those next. Okay, so the last few steps are to install the new ignition coil and CDI box. They're both mounted here under the right side of the gas tank. And we'll do the coil first. Uh, coil's held on by a 10 millimeter bolt here, which I've already loosened, so I'm gonna remove that. And then we do have to reuse the spark plug cap, so I'm gonna unthread that and remove it. And then I am going to unplug the connectors from the coil, set it out of the way. And the new coil looks the same, installs the same way. And then attach the connectors. And it will reattach in the same location with the same bolt. And the spark plug cap will thread on just like it came off the old one. And then you can reinstall it on your spark plug. So that's it for the coil. I'm just gonna kinda set this out of the way. And then the other piece is the CDI box. So, I'm gonna unplug it. Its connectors are here. You have uh, this yellow wire with a bullet connector. Unplug that. You have a two pin connector here. Unplug that. And then you've got this six wire connect or six pin connector with five wires. Move that. Now, the CDI box mounts in a little rubber sleeve to a bracket here, which I've already loosened, so I'm just gonna slide it out of the way. So there's our old box. Going to remove the sleeve. And our new box installs the same way. It's going to slide into the sleeve and it's going to fit back in the same location on the mounting bracket. And the plugs are exactly the same. So those line up just like the original. And once you have made all the connections and reinstalled it in its original location, you can tighten up all your wiring here, your original stator wiring, and uh, the CDI box wiring went in these holes here in the clamp uh, to keep them in place. So that's it for our KLR kit. That shows you how to do the stator, the regulator, CDI box, and ignition coil. And that's pretty much a complete electrical tune-up on this bike other than maybe a spark plug. So we'll hope uh, you'll do it yourself and be confident to get the job done. It's pretty simple and you can save yourself some money on an expensive repair at a shop.